Hey guys, it's Vera from Redeem for Jewels and in today's video we're going to be doing a photo shoot with vintage lenses. two vintage lenses and this one is a Zeiss Jenna Tessart. It's a 50mm lens, it's 2.8 and it has amazing bokeh. And the other lens is a zoom, the Tamron Adaptel 2, 80 to 210 millimeters. So this zoom lens I actually found it ages ago on a car boot sale. It was about 20 pounds. I tried to haggle for it but the guy would not like lower the price. And the only thing that I had to purchase for it was a little mount so, so it can go on my Canon camera. The mount itself was about £20, however there are cheaper ones but they're made of plastic and I prefer to get a metal one. And the 50mm Prime, I got this off eBay, it was about £40 but it already came with the mount and the mount is also a metal one so that's a lot better than the plastic ones. So let's find out if we can still use them in 2019. photo shoot big thanks to Angelica for modeling for us and we're going to go head home now because it's freezing and we want to look at the photos all right guys so we are back at home I do apologize if I sound a bit funny I did get ill so let's talk about the photos that we took first of all I want to mention that I don't have much experience using manual lenses so I did have a bit of a problem like trying to focus them and I just don't have much practice with it. So at times I felt like I was focusing too much on trying to get the shot in focus that I completely forgot about the composition so I did have to crop the photos quite a lot. It definitely takes a lot of practice to get good with manual focus and so that you can kind of do it naturally and then you can start focusing on other things. On the flip side it does make you a better photographer in my opinion because you can pretty much use any lens in the world and if your autofocus malfunctions or if you have a lens that is using an adapter that is not quite good enough then you can still use that lens by using manual focus. I think that some people do tend to get discouraged by manual lenses because it is quite difficult to get something in focus especially if you use a shallow depth of field. Some of the best photos throughout history are a little bit out of focus but they're still amazing photos because they just tell a story they don't have to be perfectly in sharp so don't get too bogged down about it. So during the photo shoot I did use the 85mm which is a more modern lens just so I can have something to compare the vintage lens photos with. Obviously the modern lens is going to be a lot sharper than these two but you can still get some pretty good results with these. I did find that the prime lens, the Zeiss, is a lot sharper than the zoom which is usually the case. Unfortunately it started raining so I didn't get to use the 50mm lens too much but I can show you some of my previous photos that I took with it. So with the zoom lens I did shoot at more narrow apertures around f5.6 to 8 because it is quite soft at its most wide aperture which is 3.8. However if it's completely zoomed in you can still get 
pretty good background blur just because it's a zoom. This lens is really fun to use because it does have like some funky noises when you turn it around. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> and the actual zoom is uh, quite comfortable and it just feels like it feels like it's just well made. With the 85, it's a bit robotic. You just point and it does everything for you. It's very automatic, which is good for when you're working and you want it to be quick. But with these lenses, you're just so much more involved. You have to work to get a good shot, which makes it even more rewarding when you finally get something that's really good. So the 50 millimeter lens has 12 aperture blades, which does make the bokeh balls quite nice and round. You can see it in this picture here. I really love this lens because it does give you like a really nice vintage look to your photos. The images are like pleasantly soft and stylish in like a fairy tale way. Which goes to show that an image doesn't have to be exactly perfectly sharp for it to be good. So this is one of my favorite photos that I took this year and it was actually taken with this lens. So lastly, I just want to mention that these lenses are just super cheap. I did mention the price at the beginning of the video, so if you get a chance, definitely pick one up. You just go on eBay, you can type in any lens that you want, like a prime, a zoom, a wide angle, and you can probably pick something up very cheaply. With adapters, you can pretty much use these lenses on any camera that you have. And they're just fun to use and they help you learn about photography and you're just, just so much more involved with your camera that it just makes it more rewarding when you do take a good shot. They also kind of force you to learn about apertures and focal lengths because the camera can't automatically adjust these for you if you go on auto mode. It only works in manual mode. In terms of video, I'm sure that you could use these to film with as well. However, it is more important if filmmaking to have autofocus. So I would just recommend to use them for photography. So definitely go on eBay and see if you can find something that suits you. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook if you want to see more of our work. So this is probably our last video of 2019. And so I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you in the new one. Bye bye.